Uganda National Health Consumers Organization has convened a meeting with members of parliament to discuss the proposed taxes on tobacco products. The meeting aimed to address not only revenue concerns but also public health implications and the need for proactive policy making. The challenges include particularly the interference from the tobacco industry. The tobacco industry is focused on recruiting young people and initiating them into smoking tobacco, but also sustaining them on tobacco because tobacco is an addiction. And once young people start, then they don't stop. Dr. George Didi Boka stressed evidence-based decisions for the 20% tobacco tax increase proposal with clear statistics needed. Therefore, as government, beyond skewing ourselves to only taxation, it may also be important for us to adapt a government-wide approach that looks at one regulation on the one hand, ensuring we have an enabling legal and regulatory framework to make the healthy choices, easier choices for our citizens. Taxation on tobacco products was viewed as a strategic tool to deter consumption, fund health programs, and combat non-communicable diseases like cancer linked to tobacco use. Coming to the alcohol bill, we expected because of the magnitude of the problems associated with alcohol, the government to take the lead. And the Minister of Health and other line ministries that in one way or another affected by alcohol to drive the process. But Haringaya Basil, MP for Kashari North, stressed the complexity of stakeholders involved, including manufacturers, investors, consumers, and health advocates. Because there are two, two major players on this. There are those who are manufacturing the product. Actually, there are three. There are those who are manufacturing the products. They are investors and therefore interested in money. So uh, in those, I take even those who sell the product. Then on the other side, there are consumers who are interested uh, in consuming or as a result of addiction. But sadly, there are those who want to prevent the negative effects of, this, of these products. Shalane Betilouke, also from the Health Committee, highlighted the challenges posed by the tobacco industry's efforts to recruit and sustain young smokers. The taxation might affect the manufacturer, but again, at the lower level, those the consumers, there will still be increment in the, what, the cost of alcohol. But by what I would wish the means of health to be more concerned is that it, it is going to be duplication of uh, types of alcohol. Sudat Kaye and Robert Waita, UBC News.